Jupiter, there's so Jupiter, Sagittarius, there's so much happening for you this week that I I had to write it down. I legit had to take notes. So let's dive in, Sagittarius. This is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. It is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. I'm going to go over the astrology that's impacting you and the energy that it's going to generate. And then we're going to get into the cards to get into the details and specifics. There's always an extended reading that I hope that you join me for. The link is below. Um, I'll pin it to the top of the comment section for your convenience as well. Remember, Sagittarius, uh, this is your reading. So take the energy that I describe and apply it to wherever in your life it relates to. It's your reading. Wherever it resonates is correct. This comes to you at the time that it's supposed to come to you. That's why I don't, I don't date the readings. Um, I don't put a date on the readings. Uh, of course, the astrology is going to drop at a specific date, but that's just when like the pebble hits the pond, right? When it radiates out and when the wave actually reach you or when you call it in and you're ready to hear it, that could be six seconds or six years from now. It's up to you. Um, I wanted to let you guys know, because some of you don't know, this is my premiere channel, but I also have a second YouTube channel called Astrology Motivation, and I'll attach a link to it above. And I hope that you guys will join me, because every weekday I do a live, interactive, general tarot card reading that I would be happy if you would join in on. So please think about that, and let's get into the astrology. I think all of you know, because every astrologer and tarot card reader on YouTube has been talking <laughs> about this really beautiful new moon that's coming up on the 23rd tomorrow. Um, but there's some other stuff that's beautiful that's been happening before then, and that's why it makes this so beautiful. Number one, Jupiter is conjunct to Neptune. That's a very spiritual, holy, purifying, and opening position for Jupiter to be in any way. Jupiter is in its home sign of Pisces. I know that Jupiter also, of course, rules Sagittarius, which is your, it's your, your, your first house, but it also is home in, in Pisces as well. So understand Jupiter, your ruling dignitary is in a very comfortable spot and it's in a spot that is very deeply connected to God. So I want you to trust your instincts now. I want you to trust your faith, the ability for you to have faith and be optimistic and also be extraordinarily creative and listen to your heart is so on point now. I, I don't really have the words for it. Sagittarius, just do it. Another really beautiful thing that happened before this new moon is that both Venus and Mercury went into Sagittarius. That kind of plop, plop, put like if, if Sagittarius first house was a stew, you just got dropped beauty, abundance, luxury, pleasure, and uh, value with Venus. And then boom, Mercury, you just got dropped intelligence, communication, being able to figure things out and relate things to others and be able to get your point across and be listened to and be heard and to understand and comprehend. Boop, that just went in your pot. So that's already in your energy, amplifying your energy, right? A couple days later, now the sun moves in today. As I'm doing this video, the sun has moved into Sagittarius. The sun is now, guess what? In your big old stew, we've just added courage. We've just added romance. We've just added confidence. We've just added charisma. We've just added bravery and strength and really understanding and believing in your heart space. And then tomorrow, on top of that all, we add the moon. And the moon is above all reflective. It basically absorbs and reflects all other energies, but it also kind of like is the time ticker for each of our lives here on earth. It's the closest luminary. It's the closest planetary object to us. It's our moon, right? So when the moon hits Sagittarius, it's really about where you are and who you are and how comfortable with yourself you feel and how you feel. And since the moon is going to be conjunct the sun, you're going to feel like yourself. You're going to be absolutely um, confident in yourself. You're going to feel together. You're going to feel like super powered. You're going to feel happy. You're going to feel optimistic. You're going to feel unified like within yourself you're gonna know yourself another beautiful thing that's happening when this happens is that Jupiter 
in this very beautiful position with Neptune in the very comfortable and spiritual um, expansive energy like like they say Jupiter is expansive energy and that Sagittarius is expansive energy but Sagittarius is the is expansion in the world in the 3d world like it's traveling around it's learning from others it's communicating it's talking to others Pisces is out of this world Pisces is beyond this world. Pisces is where the original thoughts and ideas come from. And that's where Jupiter is now. So Pisces, is in, Jupiter is in a place where it can keep expanding and it's trying to the sun conjunct the moon during this new moon. So basically there are no fucking limits on where you could go. November 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 24th. And I just saw 555 five, five when I looked up no limitations and there's absolutely something from the dream realm manifesting into the spiritual realm so dreams coming true well as long as you have a dream and with the sun there you will know your dreams you will you will be completely understanding and completely convinced of your own dreams and capable of achieving them will it happen overnight depends on where you are in your journey because for those of you who have been working on and believing in the dreams, even when they were in the dark, yes, this could absolutely be the day they're, hand, they're actually physically, the manifestation is there in front of you. What I think this new moon is, what I always think new moon is, it's a day of planting. So whatever it is that you plant on this day, Sagittarius, it is going to it is going to grow into the most beautiful, flourishing, juicy, wonderful tree of life. Whatever you plant will grow into something extraordinary. So it could be the beginning of your journey, the middle of your journey, wherever you are in your journey, leave the comments below. I definitely want to know. There are three cards in front of me. Let's get into them. So we have lay a solid foundation. So this is energy that either where you've already laid a solid foundation and now you've, you've broken ground, you've laid the basement level, and so now it's actually time to start building upward. And that's where you're doing, you're on the rise. But this means you have worked very hard and put a very firm foundation beneath you. This is also saying, once again, you're planting in very fertile soil. So lay a solid foundation means you are laying your egg or your seed in a very solid foundation that will work, that will function, that will grow. This is also very loving and romantic energy. Romance equals idealism. Not necessarily lovey-dovey, kissy-kissy stuff, but ideal. This is an ideal situation for you to be planting in. This is also Virgo energy. If you are dealing with a Virgo in your life, lay a very solid foundation. You have an opportunity to make something really beautiful happen with a new job, new work, or new health regimen that you are, I know that doesn't sound glamorous, but it is because it means this will prosper and so will you. We also have, see the big picture. That's right, yes. You are able to grow and expand beyond your comfort zone or your ordinary, your ordinary day-to-day -day work, work week, right? You are able to grow beyond that. You're able to finally see outside of it or be able to be brave enough to look outside and say, yes, that's mine too, right? This is already expansion because you're aware of something outside of what you did normally day-to-day. This could be growth and expansion when it comes to your job. This could be a new job. This is definitely something new. Something new, you tell me, but we do have 666 here. So it could be like going a little bit too far, wanting a little bit too much. Um, I don't think so though. The, actually the vibe that I'm getting is just, just be sure that you. it's not just about just monetary gain or materialism. This number, the triple digit of six, is you've been too focused on the material world and not seeing far enough beyond. So it's like, remember what I told you, remember what I told you is Sagittarius energy can really get stuck in this world. Don't get stuck in this world. 
Don't get stuck with just what you can see in front of you or what's already been done because there's absolute potential for you to trailblaze you know like invent create something or make a decision of something that hasn't been done before and go outside of what has been done before that is what the cards are calling you to do in this energy you are going to be able to go outside of remember jupiter is in pisces in a loose conjunction with neptune that is the realm of the impossible that is the realm of the absolutely anything because there are no boundaries there don't limit yourself don't limit yourself to what you see in front of you because that isn't anywhere near what you are capable of doing now open your creativity valves and let it loose because honestly this is the manifestation time this is when you have that magic wand in your fucking hand let's get into the moon card and we haven't gotten anywhere near specifics yet. Remember, I'm going to unravel what's happening current situation. We'll see what pops up in the past. Any cards that pop up in the past are directly related to what's happening now. And then we are going to cast out into the future and look out predictive. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Expect powerful change has come out in direct relation to the moon. This is an eclipse. So we've already been through a couple of eclipses. I think something already happened over the eclipse to set things off. And honestly, the impossible is about to show you to show you itself. So get ready for powerful change in your life. Yes, we're going to get deeper into what that is. But this should really, really, really secure you. Your hard work is paying off. And with Virgo and Capricorn energy here, there's a solidness. There's a foundation. There's a real beautiful practical application, real world tangible connection to everything. So as crazy and lunaticy as this moon might make you, you will bring it into reality. It's also saying that current situation, your hard work is paying off. I can tell you right now, when it comes to your work, when it comes to your job, there is some real exceptional change that you are going to undergo. Um, whether that's a new job, a raise, or promotion, or um, um, a new job opportunity that's gonna come into you, absolutely wonderful. And it's because you've done the work. What else have you been hard busy at work on? Have you been taking care of it? Like, is it your health? Because Virgo indicates health. Is it something else that you have been building out into the world? Maybe it's your family. You apply it where it resonates, but what, wherever you have been putting most of your work and energy and effort into, you're going to see that, you know what? It really has paid off. It really has worked out beautifully for me. So, um, there's another uh, astrological aspect that I wanted. Later on in the week, there's a semi-square to Uranus, which can lead to a lot of frustrations, especially around things that are happening over the internet or happening over advanced technology. Um, a lot of frustrations and a lot of complications, but these are all complications and frustrations related to growing pains. So you will be able to absorb the knowledge. This is... This is this is a challenge being put in front of you to teach you and help you grow or lay a solid foundation as in it's one thing to grow. It's another thing to actually be prepared for the growth. So it's like this is going to make sure that your roots go as deep as your branches are expanding, like are, are growing, right? So it's going to catch you up. It's going to it's going to frustrate you and it's going to challenge you to teach you preparedness so that you can keep growing. So even though it's frustration, it's all growing pains. It's all related to getting bigger and transforming your life. Just to let you know that. Um, there could be at the end of the week hiccups with work still to be done. This is almost like that. Like, let me just say this. This is almost like um, when you get offered the perfect new job and you give your current employer like two weeks notice and they just start throwing shit at you. It's, it's kind of like that. It's like, yeah, you're going to get through it and it's, it's going to be fine. And it just is a testament to your integrity that you even stayed there for two more weeks. <laughs> it's just a sense of it doesn't really, it's not going to really snag you. It doesn't matter beyond 
uh, how you can demonstrate your integrity and how far you've come in your life. So let's get into details. We have the, the new moon. It's already slipped out. I've seen it. I can't unsee it. So what is what are the details around this new moon for Sagittarius, please? Please let me know what's going on. Um, something that's been causing you a lot of pain and a lot of suffering. Um, something that has an ending, maybe a surprise ending or a lot of suffering that happened to you recently. Um, maybe a huge defeat. Finally defeating the defeat. Finally defeating the sadness. Finally feeling like, oh my God, my, my old sense of optimism has come back. So for those of you who have gone, gone through some real hard shit lately, and I know a lot of you have, um, you're, at this point, it's like accepting the defeat and being, and being at a place where you can start over or start new. There's some new opportunity that's going to defeat the defeat. Now, you know what the defeat is. Feel free to leave the comments below. I love to read your comments. But it's defeating whoever stabbed you in the back. It's defeating whoever harmed you. It's being able to start over again or finally have the vitality in you to get back up and, and, start, and start new. Start new. It's not start over. It's start new. And the star card is here. And the star card is upright, which means make a wish. Because as soon as you think you're down, you're not. You're, about, you're, not, being, you're not down. You were the arrow, you're Sagittarius, you were the arrow being pulled back and now you're about to be let go and released into the stratosphere. Aim for the stars. You have wished for this. What you have wished for, you can either share with me down below or you don't have to tell me at all, but you have definitely wished for this and I think it was better than what you lost. Whatever you lost, and I don't mean to insult anybody on this because you know, sometimes what you lost was very precious to you. But whatever it is, it's already happened. All the sadness, all the defeat. It's like this, let me say this. This makes all the hardship make sense. Because this is when you realize, wow, without the hardship, I wouldn't have been prepared for this. I would have, I would have actually fucked it up. I would have fucked it up. I would, I would legitimately have, have really messed this shit up. This is a bad angle, but I'm going to screw this up. Sorry. I would have legitimately messed this up. This is like coming to you at just the perfect time, especially after maybe a long bout or a long cycle with a lot of humility, with a lot of, you know, dealing with a lot of very hurtful things. It's like just what you want to hear, breath of fresh air. Can we get a little bit more specific, please, with Sagittarius? specific as to what is coming in and who is involved it's all happening right now too like it's all happening current time within the next seven days oh, six of pentacles so job opportunity or so much or so much abundance is going to come into you you'll have enough abundance to share and maybe that's kind of what you're doing you're actually taking your pain and sorrow and being able to apply it to it's like you've grown so fast and you've expanded so much that your expansion has opened up doors for others and then we have the magician so you work your magic you making this all possible alchemically something that alchemically you've put together it's going to be like magic magical opportunities pennies from heaven money coming into you star card wish if if you wishes like reach higher go farther what have your aspirations been the hermit is here again this is more virgo energy which means um you had to have faith you had to have faith and maybe this is being alone or there's some sort of path or journey here that you had to travel alone queen of cups is here so this is abundance and sharing and giving and opening and caring and being able to heal and take care of this is also cancer scorpio pisces energy could be you're dealing with a virgo you're dealing with a cancerian somebody who just works really hard and in their objectives and in their hard work or in your objectives and hard work, there is huge expansion. And King of Cups is here. This is also divine counterpart. Divine counterpart. Not only feeling good about giving to others, but also feeling good about yourself and having enough for yourself. This means that you are full. This is also very, um, it's divine counterparts. 
I don't know who this King of Cups, Queen of Cups in your life are, but it's like divine feminine masculine energy being able to balance the two of them out together. Perfect yin yang harmony and balance. That to me is still pretty. I don't, I don't, that, it's not sketchy. It's just okay, but like what? I think this is very personal to all of you. I want to pull a few of these cards. Sagittarius. This next week, Sagittarius. How? How is this coming to Sagittarius? How is this all happening and taking place? Well, it's once again confirmed on the new moon. First of all, an offer of love walking away from something that does not serve you so leaving room or finally being able to leave those sad empty feelings behind a new offer of love somebody who just walked away from a situation that really harmed them a new offer of love comes on this new moon and the magician it's almost like magic everything takes off from there i'm gonna get deeper into this because i still feel like that's too obscure abstract the link is below. Please join me in the extended. I'll see you then, Sedge.